Okay, so now we have an object-based report that uh, we are going to, in this video, turn into an SQL-based query. To do this, I'm now going to create a new data set, and that data set is going to be a, an SQL query to our Postgres database that returns the same columns and the same rows as this current query does and therefore return exactly the same report. If I right click there on the data set and I select that we're going to do a JDBC type data source, here is the connection that I've set up previously. If I edit that connection information, you'll see that this connection is to the what I've called the Pentaho test database on my VM. The connection type is Postgres. The host is my VM's uh, IP, which again, this gets used only in the designer phase. Pentaho testing is the database for the designer phase. The port name number is where Postgres will uh, serve the data up. And the important thing to note here is the username and password provided are the username and passwords to access the Postgres databases. This query will return SQL data without applying OpenERP's security rules. So it is important to realize that although it's not going to affect us here, that you could be inadvertently giving a user using this report access to data that they would not see using an OpenERP query. This could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you are trying to achieve. Just something to keep in mind. The other thing that becomes uh, a little bit more apparent now is that we will be getting the access to the columns in the SQL tables, which therefore would exclude non-stored functional and relational fields. Uh, to include those in this type of query, you would either have to reprogram them or find them as part of the query. The SQL query gives us a whole host of more powerful things um, that we can do and extend and group and uh, we can relate things that are not being related by uh, opening RP. However, it means that we can't rely on some of the things that OpenERP provides automatically. So, I go OK on that. What I need to do is create a new query, and I am going to give that query a name, and we're going to call this our partner SQL. SQL query, and as they say in the classics, here's one I've prepared. Now, what we can see in this query is that it returns the same columns from an SQL query as we were previously getting from our OpenERP query our object-based query. The columns are coming from this select statement. The rows are coming from a simple uh, query onto the partner file, joined with the partner address file, joined with the country file. The critical line that we want to look at here is the partner IDs that are being selected are going to be restricted to those in a special list of, of IDs. When the report is called as uh, linked to a model through OpenERP, it will pass in the list of IDs selected. So that can be from a tree view, a form view, and that's the way our current 
query works in our object-based report. So if we look here, we've got this special parameter, dollar braces IDs. Now that parameter is not defined in this preview mode. It is only going to be defined in the uh, when this report is executed within OpenERP. So to test it and to stop it from failing during testing, one thing I can do is just remove that clause. Preview. Yes, happy with that data. Close that. And uh, put it back in there. Now, another way if we're developing this over time is to leave that clause out until the end or to actually define a parameter uh, in the interim or substitute it with a list of known IDs, any of these ways. Now, assuming that we're happy with the query and the name, I click on OK. And now, if uh, I want to, use this new data source, I need to go back to my structure, the master report. Our master report is currently using our old partner query. What I really want to do is our partner SQL query. So now this partner query is no longer being used, so I can actually Delete that data source, and well, actually, if I preview this at the moment, it's going to have IDs. So, just to be prudent, I will take that where calls out, click on OK, preview our report. It's a report that roughly looks like we expect it to. If we were to run this in OpenERP now, it should run exactly the same as our other report did. However, there is no visual clue to say, yes, we definitely are running a new report. So I'm just going to put in a different title so that we've got a very obvious visual clue that the correct report is being run. And I will... put that where clause back in as well. The parameter IDs will not be populated by the OpenERP container connector if it doesn't know the parameter is required. So what we will now do is define our dummy parameter. We'll add a parameter there. And the parameter name will be IDs label is not so important in this context. That will now do. Some of our more clever viewers may have noticed the little error in my query, which I will now rectify so that it is clear, and that is that I was actually selecting where the partner ID, not where the partner ID is in the list of IDs. So, coming back to OpenERP, I can go to the settings, back down to customization, low level objects, actions, Pentaho reports, choose our previous Pentaho report action. Now I'm going to edit that. I don't need to change anything about the top part, particularly as the model is still going to be, it's still going to be linked to the model partner. It's going to be past the partner IDs. So select that. 
choose the correct internal report definition, save that to the customers and select them all, select their contact list and hopefully we will see our contact list. Now, as I alluded to, if we select only one, I can do the contact list for that one only, or if I'm back on the list view and I select a country, for instance Belgium, and we only select those idea, IDs and we only get those ones selected as well. Our next video will look at turning this from an ID based report to a menu based report with um, selection criteria that can be entered via a wizard.